Uh-oh, hashtag knuckle swatch. We got a weird one going on there, especially if you use like a flat blush, a flat blah blush, a flat brush. That was real hard for me. And the packaging, the packaging. Hey guys, welcome back. So we've got Friday favorites and buoys for you today, and I have got some pretty favorites this week. Just beautiful packaging, pretty products inside, just makeup that looking at it and using it just makes me smile, makes me happy. So I've had a lot of fun playing with my makeup this week, and I have a feeling some of these may continue into next week, so you may see them again because I don't want to put them down yet. But anyway, lots of fun things to share, so let's jump into it. So back to nothing on my nails, but as far as eye favorites, I did wear this one this week. This is the CoverGirl True Naked and Roses, and this is my favorite of the three palettes of the True Naked, is that what they're called? I just said it. The True Naked palettes from CoverGirl. This one's my favorite. I feel like this one just works the best. I do have a review and swatches video on all these palettes if you want to see that. I'll try to remember link it for you, but this one I just feel like is, I don't know, really good. Now these are very powdery and they do have a lot of kick up, but they look really beautiful on the eyes. I mean, you're gonna get a lot of fallout, like I'm getting fallout on my hand. So just, you know, tap off your brush, be aware of that, maybe do your face makeup last so you can kind of do cleanup, but it's, I mean, I think it's really, really pretty. Every time I've used this palette on my eyes, I always like the eye looks that I come up with. Like it just seems to all come together nicely. I think it's a pretty palette at the drugstore. And yeah, I mean, that's a really pretty color. I think that's really, really beautiful. But then there's this. Oh my goodness. I love this. I just want to stare at it. This totally stole the show this week. This is one of the products from the MAC Vibe Tribe collection. I love this packaging. I think it's so pretty. This is the outside box. That's amazing. This is the eyeshadow palette. Um, there were two different quads and I got the one in Call of the Canyon and I'm wearing this today and it's just stinking beautiful. These two colors are really what sucked me in because you can see on like the inner half of my lids, I mean, they are so sparkly and, well not sparkly, but metallic. Just really good. I almost don't even want to swatch them because I don't want to waste them. <laughs> because I love this palette so much. I'm not doing the gold justice because I didn't swatch a ton of it. I don't know. I just, I don't want to waste it and I don't want to change the consistency of it by, you know, sometimes when you swatch things, it changes things. And this is so perfect. Uh oh. Hashtag knuckle swatch. We got a weird one going on there. So you can see it's so pretty. I feel like in the swatch it's not looking as amazing as it does on the eyes. Just know it is amazing on the eyes. And these have a really buttery texture. Honestly, this one does too. Just a really buttery texture. So especially if you use like a flat blush, a flat blah blush, a flat brush. That was real hard for me. A flat brush like a small concealer brush or something, something that will pack on color, you're really gonna see that intense metallic finish to it. Oh my gosh, I just, I wanna stare at it all day. I wanna open it and stare at it all day because the shadows inside are really pretty. I want to just use it forever. So this is what I'm saying that I'll probably continue into next week. It's just amazing. I love it. And then with that quad, I've really been enjoying this ColourPop liner. This is the cream gel liner in the color Show Off. And it's just a beautiful kind of coppery sort of color. Chester is hyper and he's just going back and forth. So if you hear like a thumping noise, he's jumping up in the window and then he's jumping down. He's freaking out, running out and then coming back. So he's in a mood today. He's, he's very busy. So anyway, this is the coppery liner Show Off. Is that what it's called? Show me, show me and it's just gorgeous oh my gosh and it just like catches the light really well and it has this beautiful like dimension to it like one way it looks sort of like dark and blackened like a blackened copper and then it catches the light and it's a lot brighter oh my gosh so you got a lot of like sheen and dimension going on there and then you layer it with something so i use that kind of peachy shade which has a lot of dimension to it 
and you've just got like lots of amazing dimension going on in your eye look and I love it. Oh my gosh. These are super affordable. I think they're five or six dollars. This is the only one that I have in the pencil. I have one pencil and then I have one in the pot. The pot one I never remember to use. But this one I really love. It's very creamy, glides on the eyes really nicely, wears well. I'm impressed with it, but this color, that right there, sucks me in. Just the color alone. But the formula is really good too. And the price. For blush this week, I have a couple of standout favorites. I can't remember the last time I wore one of these blushes, but I really do enjoy them. I think they're so cute and they just make me happy. These are the Physicians Formula Happy Booster Glow and Mood Boosting Blushes. What a name. And this is in the color Warm. And this is just a really beautiful kind of warm, like peachy pink sort of color, but it's almost like peachy red. I mean, just, it's so cute. I love this. I feel like if MAC did a collection like this, which they did the Archie's Girl collection years ago, that's one of my very favorite collections that they've ever done. And they had some kind of like heart sort of products in that collection. And I loved that. I thought it was so adorable. So I feel like this is kind of like, sort of like that, except almost even better because this has more hearts in it. I just think it's like one of the cutest products that I have in my collection. Bulky packaging on the outside, but looking at it in the pan, it's adorable. And I love that it's pink. So anyway, there it is. It's sort of like, yeah, like a glowy peachy pink. It's got a sheen to it. Really pretty, builds up nicely on the cheeks, but isn't one of those blushes that is super scary because you can kind of build it up to this point. Whereas when you first apply it, it's gonna be a little bit lighter. So it's not as scary. It's not like it just sticks there and doesn't move. It's like you have time to sort of blend and get it built up like you want it. Sort of like the um, Clinique Cheek Pops. Sort of like that where I feel like it's just more user friendly. You know what I mean? I love them. I think they're really nice blushes and they're just stinking adorable. So recently I mentioned that I had gotten the Becca Luminous Blush in Fox Glove and I wasn't very impressed with it. It just, I felt like it was just the wrong color for me personally. Like it just kind of looked a little bit muddy and not super exciting. It's sort of like a mauve pink, but for some reason on me, it just looks really muddy. So I brought that back and I ended up getting this one instead. This is the Becca Luminous Blush in Tiger Lily and I really like this. I'm wearing it today and it's just a really beautiful glowy tangerine color. It's beautiful in the pan. It really does like give you this just beautiful glow to your skin. You kind of have to build up more of the color or more of the product, which would build up the color too, but more of the product to really get that sheen. I feel like it comes out more when you apply more. And I feel like that's why Fox Glove wasn't working for me because the color wasn't working right, but I wanted that sheen. I was trying to build it up. Things were getting weird. It just didn't work for me. So this one, I felt like I can build it up and I really like the color. It's pretty bright when I build it up, but then you've got that like glow. Yes. Okay. Let me show you what it looks like. I'm just babbling on, but you probably want to see what the heck it looks like. So there it is. Really pretty. I mean, it's, it's pretty orange. It is pretty orange, but that's why I got it. Like, I feel like it's something different. I don't have anything like this in my collection. I have like peachy oranges, orangish blush, 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 peachy orangish blushes. That's hard to say but not like a glowy one like this and not that not one that's this bright you know what i mean really really pretty now i will say the price still bugs me about these like i feel like i would want camellia too i kind of still do but i would definitely get it if it were like a 25 dollar blush or even like even better like a 20 dollar blush but something about a 34 dollar blush i'm like Ooh, I don't know if I want it that badly. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I would say maybe pick up one of them because they really are really pretty. Like if you get a color that you like for your skin tone, they're really, really pretty. They're just a pricey blush. Now onto lips. So one night I wore a red lip out to dinner with Timothy and it was this one. This is the Palladio Velvet Matte Cream Lip Color in the shade Pan? Pane? P-A-N-N-E, however you pronounce that. 
but this is what it looks like. It honestly, like looking at it in the packaging, I thought it was gonna be like a lighter red, but it's actually kind of a little bit darker. Like, I don't know, it's not that like sort of bright retro orangey red, it's more of a statement. I mean, it's still a retro. I don't know, I feel like all reds are retro, but the, something about this, it looks, especially on me, because I have pretty pigmented lips, it looks a little bit darker than it's even showing this swatch, but it's still a really beautiful red. Now, I've tried a couple of these before. I love the purpley pink color. That one's my very favorite, but I really do like this one a lot too, especially if you're looking for a good red. I feel like these are a nice option if you're wanting something in the liquid lipstick family, but you don't like the discomfort of them. They do transfer on me, but they kind of start to set down a little bit. They sort of remind me of the Ofra, but they don't feel as moussey. But as far as like how they wear and how they feel on the lips, it's kind of moving towards that. So really, really pretty. The purpley pink is still definitely my favorite, but I really do like this red a lot too. And it just, you know, I feel like this is sort of more of like a daytime because I was wearing pretty much these eyeshadows all week. So I was wearing these shadows when I wore this. I feel like this is, you know, kind of more of that daytime sort of a look, but then you put a red lip on with this makeup and then you're just, you know, you kicked it up a notch, which I would wear the red lip during the day too, but especially for a night out and a dinner, I think it's really fun. And then I wore another one of these Katie Cat matte lipsticks from CoverGirl. This one is in the shade Kitty Purry. This is the one that's getting a lot of attention and for good reason, because I think this one might be my favorite of all the ones that I have. Especially after I wore it, I was like, what? Because I didn't know how this would work on me because on some people it looks more purpley, on some people it looks more pink. I would say on me, it's like right in the middle, maybe slightly more pink. Like, I feel like the swatch is, I don't know about how, like, how you're seeing it, but like looking at it in the mirror, I have a mirror right here. When I'm looking at it in the mirror, it looks pretty accurate where it's sort of that like right in between a pink and a purple. It is beautiful. It has this like, like a little bit of a mauve -y sort of a look to it. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love this color. Really like the formula. Again, the only negative is the horrible scent. It's horrible. And somebody even commented, one girl commented and said something about it smelling like soap. Yes, soap. Like bad soap. Like, not like Bath & Body Works soap, which smells good, but like crappy, cheap, nasty soap. <laughs> Just not good, so I hate the scent of it, but I really do like the formula and I love, love this color. I feel like it's just one of those that's close to a neutral because it's not a super bright pink, but it still gives you some color. You know what I mean? It goes with a lot of stuff but it still gives you some, some color and it just feels a little bit special. And then lastly, the lip combo that I'm wearing right now. I love this. I mean, hello, cute packaging once again. This is also obviously from the Vibe Tribe collection, but I mean, just look at it. Oh my gosh. Like, I feel like when they have pretty packaging or really, really cute packaging, I feel like the lipsticks are always the most adorable. Like that's, those are always my favorite from the collection, just to look at them. I'm like, oh, you're so cute and little. And then you have the cute little packaging. I just love you. And then this is the outside box. That's adorable, so pretty. Okay, so I got the color Arrowhead and it's a matte. Now this is a nude. This is like a concealer nude. I mean, when I just wear this by itself, it like, it's whoa. Cause I have, you know, I already mentioned pretty pigmented lips, so when I wear a really concealery nude, I mean, it just looks really strange, you know, because it's totally blanking out my lips. So there it is by itself. I really, really love it. I think it's a beautiful nude, but it looks a little strange by itself. So I had to bring in a liner. I did wear it with Tawny one day. That worked really well. I feel like Jordana's Tawny works with pretty much everything, but I really loved it with this. This is the Hourglass. Oh. a strange noise. Uh, long wear lip liner in Eden. I did notice something really weird about this. When I sharpened it, it like fell out of the end, but I like put it back together. 
that's kind of crazy, especially since this is not a cheap lip liner. But anyway, so that's a little bit odd. But I love this liner. It's very creamy, really pretty color, and I feel like it works really, really well with Arrowhead. So what I did is I would kind of like line my lips with it, bring it in a little bit, apply Arrowhead, and then go back in with a lip liner to kind of like, you know, especially apply it in the outer corner and then sort of blend it in. So it sort of did like an ombre sort of a lip, but I mean, these are pretty significant, like significantly different. So you're really gonna have to kind of blend them together. I don't think this liner is like a must have with this color, but I would say just some kind of a darker liner to kind of like tone it down a little bit and not make it like quite so woe nude, you know what I mean? But I love it. I mean, this is, it's so comfortable. It's nice and long wearing because it's matte, but it's really, really, comfortable on the lips. It's not drying and at least not in my opinion, I think it's really, really creamy and comfortable. And the packaging, the packaging. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this week. Have you checked out the Vibe Tribe collection? If you have, what have you gotten from it? Because that is clearly my current obsession. So I'd love to know that or any of your favorites or your weekend plans. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video.